We're here today because this is our it's a glorified dress rehearsal for our family-friendly tradition building panto. This is our ninth annual panto, Camelot. And uh, we're here at the South Simco Theater on stage. Cast and crew are getting ready so we can start. Well, we have a variety of casts. We have newbies and we have um, uh, ones that have been with us for, only, well, from the beginning, actually. Uh, what, what brought me here was my daughter back in 2017, I believe it was, is also into acting in the arts, my daughter Lexi. And she saw an ad for auditions at this theater. She goes, we should go audition. So I said, okay, let's go audition. So we auditioned and we got parts in uh, a panto called Cinderella, eh? So that's how it, how it got started for, for myself. I remember uh, seeing a show here before I uh, auditioned for, uh, we saw a version of Scrooge panto. And it was just, it was magical, it was fantastic. And uh, I, I always remember that and that's what I hope uh, audiences will, will get out of this. A good laugh and uh, just be very entertained because there's uh, music, it's a whole bunch of nonsense going on and lots of fun. Marika as a director is amazing and uh, we have Bev doing the, the costumes, you'll, you'll see the costumes are just totally amazing. The, the music, Mel, we have a director. Mel, she's been doing a great job. The band is fantastic. It's just a great, a great crew for something that's like a volunteer. It's, uh, it's amazing. Um, Laugh a lot is the um, sought-after friend for uh, Prince Arthur. The king bought him on Amazon, so the name tag was smudged. So uh, Laugh a Lot just came with a lot as a name tag. So the king tries out different names, and Laugh a Lot sticks around for a bit. But at the end, we find out that Laugh a Lot finds his own name. The people who are in a panto really love the world of the ridiculous, yeah. and they are the hardest working people to find the ridiculous in every situation. I mean. Yeah. The ridiculous tends to just present itself. We're just there to receive it, really, and, and celebrate in it. Yeah, we we wallow in ridiculousness. We're going to see um, the story of uh, King Uther, who would like to keep his kingdom, and but there are the um, antagonist Morgana Le Fay, who wants to have. Guinevere Mary Valorant the Vicious, so she can take hold of Camelot. <laughs> There's lots of cheering and fun and dance and music and comedy. Um, we break that fourth wall, have lots of interesting um, rapport with the audience. There's something intriguing about the story of Camelot. People know a lot of the, of the characters, you know, Lancelot and Guinevere, uh, King Uther, the Knights of the Round Table. So it's a familiar story for a lot of people. Um, on behalf of the cast and crew of the Canto, we'd like to thank the theater for still having us, our ninth annual, St. John's Anglican Church, um, X Dance Company, uh, the various people, there's so many volunteers that come in, help so clean, uh, they just do so much. So thank you to every single person that has come in and helped with this Canto. I would like to thank Kathy Simpson for giving me the opportunity to direct the Pantos. And I was sort of a wannabe director and she took a chance on me and um, we've never looked back so I would like to thank Kathy.